discrimination, generalization, and maintenance. Three important concepts that are relevant to learning but are sometimes misunderstood or neglected. We'll talk about these in today's video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla from All Day ABA and my mission is to make behavior analysis fun and accessible to clients, therapists, and even supervisors. Today, we are going to talk about B11 in the 5th edition task list, which covers the terms discrimination, generalization, and maintenance. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to help me grow this channel and to stay up to date on the latest videos. If you haven't watched the other videos for the 5th edition task list yet, feel free to do so after this. In this video, I'm going to teach you the definitions of the three terms and provide examples of each. I'm also going to discuss the way these concepts apply to learning. Let's get started. Discrimination means that you can identify a stimulus among other stimuli. So basically, if you have an array of things and someone asks you to identify something, you can pick it out of the array. If you can choose the correct answer on a multiple choice test, then you have successfully discriminated among different stimuli. You also demonstrate discrimination when you go to the grocery store and you're in the ice cream aisle and you pick out your favorite ice cream among all the different brands of ice cream. You can think of discrimination as being able to recognize an item in an environment. So discrimination obviously applies to learning because if you can't discriminate among different stimuli, then it is really hard to learn more abstract concepts. Generalization occurs when behaviors extend to new people, places, situations, or other similar behaviors. One example of generalization might be that a family moves into a new home with their two kids. The children are able to complete their chores successfully even though they've never lived in this house before. They are able to generalize their chores to a new setting. Another example of generalization is that students in a school are able to generalize their skills when they meet a new teacher. They are still able to demonstrate the same skills that they learned with their previous teacher. That would be an example of generalization across a novel person. Generalization is obviously important to learning because if you can't demonstrate a skill that you've learned in a new place or with new people or in a new situation, then you haven't truly, truly mastered the skill. Maintenance is the ability of a learner to continue to demonstrate a skill after an intervention has been entirely or partially removed. So when you first learn a skill, if you are still able to demonstrate that skill later on, that is maintenance. If you learned how to read and you can still read, even though you're not in school anymore, you have maintained the ability to read. Another example of maintenance might be that a life skills teacher teaches students in the class how to fill out a job application. Several months later, one of the students goes and fills out a job application without any assistance. This student maintained the skill of filling out a job application. Maintenance can obviously happen naturally, but it is also important to program for maintenance and to make sure that students are maintaining what we have taught them. So to continue, we can relate discrimination, generalization, and maintenance to learning as a whole. Discrimination can kind of be thought of as demonstrating understanding. Generalization can be thought of as application of understanding to new areas. And finally, maintenance can be thought of as retaining what has been learned. Leave a comment down below and tell us your own examples of the three terms we discussed today. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others so that they can learn more about behavior analysis. Click the link down below and get your own printable copy of the free sample ABA study materials booklet. If you are looking for flashcards or workbooks to study these terms, I will link my study materials bundle below. And you can also visit the All Day ABA blog if you would like to read more behavior analytic content after watching these videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.